That was extra as f wasn't it? Baby, tell me if you like it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. And if you are a part of the Chameleon Squad, welcome back. So, um, yeah, I know, I know I was wrong for not sharing with y'all the products I used in my last video. So, that's what I have for you guys today. I'm going to be sharing with you guys my new staple products, y'all. I am so excited because these products are giving me lightweight. They're giving me spirals. They're giving me curls with all definition popping. They're giving me no frizz, no white flakes, like fluffy movement, you name it. So, I got you, sis. If you guys want to know what are my current staple hair products for my wash and goes, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so I just um, shampooed and conditioned my hair and I also deep conditioned as well. So I always do that when I start my hair and I wash my hair typically every four days. I like to restart my hair like right when it's about to start getting like knotty and tangled up. I don't let it get past that. I feel like that kind of minimizes the breakage and extra shedding, um, single strand knots. So what I like to do is once my wash and go is like getting to the point where it's like, all right, girl, this is like the last day. You can't stretch it anymore. I go ahead and put my deep conditioner straight in. Then I shampoo and condition after. Sometimes I shampoo and condition first and then deep condition. It just all depends. So um, I know y'all want to know like what my products are. So I'm about to show you that in a second. Let me just put my hair up real quick. Honestly, I really don't use a lot of stuff, y'all, and I am really happy with the results. As you guys saw in my last video, y'all was commenting that the curls was popping, and I literally just stumbled upon this routine. So don't think I've been doing it for a while. As soon as I, like, got it down packed, I was like, I have to share it with y'all. So first things first, I go in with the 100% virgin coconut oil leave-in um, by Shade Moisture. It's a, like, spray leave-in like this. And so um, I take my section and I also like apply my products a little differently too. So, um, hold on, let me open this. Ooh. Wait till y'all see this. Okay, no, let me show y'all this first. Okay, so I use my handy dandy Eco Styler Gel and that's because y'all know I'm obsessed with it. But <laughs> I got the big one. So, yes, oh my god, my mom and I was at the um, beauty supply store and was like, oh, we need some more gel. So then I was like, oh, just go ahead and grab one. And she was like, um, I don't see like the little small ones. I'm like, you don't see the regular size? She was like, oh, I found one. Came over to me in the aisle with this big ass thing. So I was like, we ain't never gonna need no gel. So, yes, I used that. And as far as my styler, I also use another leave-in as well. I use the Jane Carter Curls to go um, untangle me weightless leave-in. And so that is it, y'all. That's all I put on my hair. I don't put anything heavy, anything thick. Um, and as you guys saw, it was giving me really shiny, bouncy, defined curls, no crunch. And um, I got a lot of days. So if you're, you know, interested, let's get started. So first thing I do, um, get my water bottle and I go ahead and spray my hair. If it needs to be sprayed, nine times out of ten, it needs to be sprayed because my hair just dries so quickly. But the crazy thing is, like, my hair will dry, like, it'll look dry and it'll, like, feel dry, but then, like, it'll be dripping. Like, it's so annoying. So, yeah, my hair does not stay like that soaking wet, like, you know, how other girls get it. But, and I go in, um, I don't use a Denman. Um, I use, like, a big paddle brush like this. So I just go ahead and I take each section, I spray it down, I take, hmm, I don't know, I don't know if y'all can see that, about that much, if I need some more, I take some more, y'all know I'm not shy when it comes to products, um, I go on how each section feels and I don't treat each section the same, every section is different, especially because if you guys have been following me for a while, y'all know that like, Different parts of my hair have different hair textures, patterns, minds of their own feelings, just everything. So um, I treat them all accordingly and um, just put my products in that way. 
So what I like to do now, like I normally would go like this with my fingers a lot, put the products in, I don't do that. Now I might do it a little bit just to make sure it's no tangles, but for the most part when I put my products in, I like to pull down and smooth. Um, I don't rake, I find that raking breaks up my curls and it gives me more of um, that stringy look. And I don't really like that. I like more of the clump together, the chunky curls. And then that way you can kind of separate them as you want. So I just allow my hair to like partner up and curl with whatever it wants to. Um, and that's what I find like changes the look of my hair, if you understand what I mean. So that's pretty much it for that section. Now the gel is where it's going to like take the magic. So... If y'all not big on using gels and your wash and goes, this routine might not be ideal for you, but to be honest, it works for me and it does not feel like I have any gel in my hair whatsoever. I don't have to go through that crunch stage or like to scrunch it out. I, I just don't have to do any of that. And I think it's due to the way I dry my hair too now, uh, which was the video before this. So if you haven't seen it, I'll leave it up here. But yeah, so then I just take the gel and I go ahead and start smoothing that down. And actually, I need a mirror because I cannot see. I can't see. But I know how it feels. So, and like even if I take my hands and go like this, you'll see me go right back and like smooth it back together. I don't want to separate it or like prematurely separate my hair too much. I want it to kind of like stay all together. So as you can see, this is how my hair is looking. See how it's just like pretty much mm, like two and I'll, I'll like let them separate like on their own. Woo, my hair getting long y'all because y'all know back here was like short as hell. Look at that when I stretch it down. What I've also um, stopped doing was taking large sections. I've now gone back to doing like tiny sections like that. You know, I don't, um, cause I pay attention to like each curl now. So I don't do that method. I forgot what it's called where I like actually do every single curl. Like, no, that's a little bit too OD. But I do kind of pay more attention by using smaller sections because before y'all know i would probably split like up here and put all the products in but now i don't do that i like probably have to do four sections inside of that one that i used to do if that kind of makes sense so i really smooth it down like that until i feel that it's smooth and this is a lightweight um, leave-in conditioner but honestly like it gives my hair a lot of moisture um, it smooths all like the frizz out and um, it doesn't keep it doesn't like dry it out it doesn't give no flakes like it's just really good and surprisingly y'all know for a while like I was really liking thick products on my hair but for some reason y'all this this leave-in just works so good for me it really really does and it works good on like all the parts of my hair it also mixes well with a lot of other products so I am really happy that I found this routine y'all know I have been like trying to find something because I miss I actually miss wearing my wash and goes like I was doing other styles but that was because I felt like I had to like because I was not liking the way my hair was looking I mean, look at that. Look at these results, y'all. And I'm not grabbing a lot of gel. I'm not grabbing a lot of the leave-in. And I am smoothing my hair down like that. And then I just toss it to the back. And that's it. So, today is Tuesday. I'm going to be uploading this tomorrow, my Wednesday, with my curls pop day. But, you know, y'all have been asking for it, so I figured... Instead of doing that, I might as well go ahead and show y'all this routine, just in case y'all want to try it out for yourself. Um, you know, I feel like these products aren't catered to a certain type of hair type. I feel like all three of these products um, can work on anybody's hair. 
but let me know about the leave-in because that's the only thing that I would be kind of skeptical about if your hair is a lot thicker than mine. Um, I'm not sure, but honestly, I feel like the gel is really what's like making this style. I feel like just putting the leave-in underneath just allows your hair to be moisturized and not like you just putting gel on your hair. Um, and plus I'm doing double leave-in because I'm doing the spray and I'm doing the um, liquid as well. So let me know. Matter of fact, like I would love for girls with, I don't know what that was. I would love for girls with thicker hair than me to let me know, like try this routine and let me know if it worked. Because if it did, y'all, I would be so happy. Like if you had my hair type, of course, you know, this is probably gonna work for you. But the goal is to, you know, help everybody out. Not just like people with hair like mine. So I would love to know that if it worked for you. And that's it. Like, I don't do too much. It's really quick. I think also, like I said, the smoothing is what really like changed the appearance of my curls. Just smoothing in those products instead of like breaking it like that and breaking them up and getting all tangled. Because it's kind of like, you know when you do like a flexi rod set or something like that and you don't really unravel the curls as much maybe on the first day, then the second day you kind of like unravel them a little bit more. I think that's what gives you the longevity when you have more of a chunky style to start. And then you kind of like break it up or you just like shake your hair and like let the curls like separate on their own. So I literally am just going to do the same thing. <laughs> so I mean it's no point of y'all just sitting here watching me do the same thing. But I wanted y'all to see how the wet results look. Because y'all know I'm big on wet results. I think wet results sometimes can be like shocking when you get the dry results but I feel like the wet results will really tell you what your results are going to be looking like when it's dry so I mean look at this y'all have y'all ever seen a combo do this to my hair I don't even think um Camille Rose did this to my hair and that was like probably the best wool my curls pop to date still if y'all agree with me let me know if you don't let me know what you think the best wool my curls pop was but I ain't seen no results like this on my hair Mm -mm. So, yeah, I'm going to continue and then maybe I might throw in a few like at the top so you can see um, when I do get to my topper parts and my looser, high porosity parts, I like slow down with the product. So down here, I'm a little heavier. Up here, I can't be too heavy because it will weigh it down. So I just, like I said, I treat every section of my hair different and I just feel what it needs. So... I'll be back, show y'all the final like look, and then I'll dry and show you the results. But yeah, that's it, girl. Drop a rule at the partition, please. I don't need you seeing y'all say on her knees. Took 45 minutes to get out dressed up. We ain't even gonna make it to this club. Now my mascara running red and lipstick smudge. Oh, he's so honey, yeah, he wants too far. He popped on my buttons and he ripped my blouse. He wanna call on whiskey all on my girl.
the finished look. Like I said, I have linked the drying routine as well. I thought that would be kind of repetitive to put that in there. Um, but yeah, I just went ahead and dried my hair like you saw in the last video. And this is it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you do really try this out. It's a really light routine, but I hope it gives a lot of people great results. So um, leave your suggestions down below on what other videos you want to see from me. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.